Hey guys, it's your girl Valencia Griffin Wallace. I'm going to wait a minute or two to see who hops on live. Uh, happy Thursday. And when you get here, go ahead and say, hey boo. I hope to see you all at the Move Experience in November in New Orleans. Um, also, make sure you join the Find You Movement. And let's see, the website, ValenciaGWallace.com. So now all of that stuff's out the way. Pins and papers ready. Class is truly in session. And make sure you say, hey, boo, when you get here. And if you're watching the replay, let me know. So I want to talk really quick about keys. Now, if you guys think about, and I'm going to get to the point. Like I said, class is in session tonight. Keys are not the size of the door they open. I want you guys to get that deep down in you. I have a car. I have car keys. My car keys are not the same size of my car. My keys are not the same size as my house. Keys are, are small and they open something. And a lot of times we want doors to open but we underestimate the size of the key. And I really, like I said, I want you guys to think about that. And if you have a key that's the same size of the door, I don't know where they do that at. But a key is always smaller than the door it opens. And I'm going to give you some quick examples and then I'm going to lay it out. Because like I said, class is in session. Words. Words are a key and words become books. Thoughts, a small key. Thoughts become businesses. Hey, hon, don't underestimate the size of your key. Small keys open, open big doors. And I have notes, okay, to help you guys just, I want you to really think about this because we underestimate our talents, our gifts, the things that we want to do in life. Hey, boo, because we think that the key is too small or it doesn't mean anything if you look at billion dollar businesses most of them started from their garage Sara Lee who made um, cookies started from her kitchen we don't think about that you don't if you have to think about don't focus on the door pay attention to your key your key may be the con a conversation with some anonymous person that could open the door to the other side of, of your life. Can help you solve a problem. Don't underestimate the key. Keys open doors. I'm going to say that again. So just a few things about keys. Keys are small. I said that. Keys are never the size of the door that you're trying to open. Never. Keys start something. Hey, hon, you need a key to start your car. You need a key to even start lawnmowers and things like that. So these how, this is how important keys are, which I said, don't underestimate the key. Now, another thing about keys, keys are protecting something. If you have a safe in your home, you know you have a key. To get in my house, you have to have a key. That's the purpose of the key. Think about that. Keys unlock something. There is some doors and it's so, so big. But you can't open the door because you don't have the key. Hey, boo. Don't underestimate your key. I don't care if it's raggedy. If it's whatever, don't underestimate your key. Hey, boo, because your the key is to open the door. That's the purpose of the key. You don't just have a key and you're not supposed to do anything with it. A lot of you guys have ideas and, and you know, businesses in you or whatever it is. You have life changing things that you want to do. Hey, hon. But the simple fact, you're underestimating your key. You couldn't have told me five years ago that I would be a speaker today. You couldn't have told me that. 
But there was a, a key that I underestimated. I underestimated my voice. I underestimated my story because I thought everybody had this same key. Your key is unique to you. Because there's a door for you. Y'all get it? And I'm going to give you a little quick bonus because it is late on this Thursday. If you ever lost the key to your house or your car, you know they're expensive to replace. So because you missed the key the first time, that doesn't mean that the door won't open. That means that it may take you a little longer and cost you a little something more. Protect your key and don't underestimate your key. Now, some of you guys may be like, okay, Valencia, I like this whole key thing. But most things this day, these days have a keyless entry. And y'all know my house has keyless entry. My car has keyless entry. But I promise you, if those buttons don't work for me to get in the house, I have a key to open that door. Keyless entry, that may be a person in, in your life or, or some aha moment or some windfall of something. It may make it easier to have keyless entry, but I promise there's always a key to back up that keyless entry. If you have keyless entry for your car, you know if the batteries die in that remote or for whatever reason, you can go ahead, take that off and use the key that's inside of there. There's always a key. It may be hidden. It may be hidden, but there's always a key. There is not one door made with the lock that does not have a way to get in. But the problem is a lot of times we give up. Because we expect to stand at the door and say, uh, open please. It doesn't work like that. Don't underestimate your, your key. You may be a genius with your words. You may be a genius with cooking. You may be a genius with giving great advice. Those are your keys. Use them. If Uber can be a uh, million, billion dollar business, whatever it is behind somebody that's not even driving, then people found the key. I'm just saying, don't underestimate that stuff. It's not just stuff, it's your key. So I'm gonna add a little bit more to this. And I hope y'all getting it because it frustrates me when I talk to people that say, I want to write a book. And the book is the door, but you hadn't even focused on the key, which is to write a word. If your life is depressing and stressing, that's a door none of us want to walk through. What's the key? Is the key to that negative door the people you hang around, the people you talk to? The key to your positive mindset might be shutting down social media altogether. I'm just telling y'all. So, the things you need to ask yourself. And I got notes. Y'all know classes in session Thursday night. Where are your keys? These are things that you need to look at. Where are your keys? Who has the key? And what will it open? So I'm going to just go in a little bit. When I say where are your keys? If you lose your keys to your house or your car, you're going to tear everything up to find them. Where are your keys? Is it a thought? Is it somewhere you have to go? Where are the keys? Who has the key? Is it someone you can connect with? Is it someone you need to connect with that may have the key? Last what will it open? But until you find out where your key is, who has the key, what the key is. Also, let me add that you don't know what it will open. 
there's no way and some of you guys saw my announcement with me um now being on the board for the atlanta black theater festival and if you know me and and the the sidewalk i'm walking up to open a door then you understand that this is a key Somebody else may look at it like it's nothing or small, but see, you don't know my door. So let me add that too. Don't let somebody tell you the value of your key. They don't know your door. They don't know your door. Just like you don't invite everybody to your house or let everybody ride in your car. Everybody don't know your door. That's not their business. So of course, if I don't know what door you're trying to open, I may not under as um you know know the value of your key either y'all get it so those little thoughts that go through your head 24 hours in the day sometimes however many hours in the day all the seconds that you have those thoughts that go through your head you probably have a million dollar thought once a day and what you don't realize is that thought may be the key to open the door. Don't underestimate your keys. If you're here, you're here for a reason. You may need to use your key to open the door and make a duplicate for somebody else. So I'm going to add that too. Don't be selfish with the key once you open the door. So with that being said, guys, I want you to really think about life in that way. I want you to think about and maybe even Google people that started with nothing, but all they had was a small key. And remember, keys are never the size of the door that they open. The doors are much bigger. So with that being said, thank you for watching. Peace. And love, make sure you say hey boo when you get here. Like, love, share the video. And um, I'll see you guys in New Orleans in November.